Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens. In this episode, we're doing an unboxing of Tanto Manta, The Rise of Ferdinand and Isabella, 1470 to 1516. This is billed as a prequel to the very, very popular game Here I Stand. Um, this is not a solo friendly game at all, although you could true solo at playing all sides if you really wanted to. Uh, I don't think it's really suitable for that, but some people probably have. So anyway, it's a huge, heavy, heavy box. It's got a nice amount of map in there, from what I understand. And uh, see, so it covers a period from 1470 to 1516, the height of the Age of Discovery, making it the prequel to the award-winning Here I Stand. This four-player grand strategy game centers on the Iberian Peninsula, a land that has been splintered into numerous caliphates and kingdoms over the previous 700 years. Warfare, part of the desperate competition between Christian and Muslim fates, often referred to as the Reconquista, has been the one constant. Now at age 18, Isabella Castile has been offered in marriage alliances to both Portugal and France. So, anyway, there's a lot in this one. Let's go ahead and crack it, see what you get inside. All right, here we go. Obviously because of the multiplayer aspect of Here I Stand, I've not had any experience playing that. I believe there's some ways to play it online. I'll have to look into those if I can learn the game. Kinda stupid. Anyway, so we start with the rule book, which is a very impressive and thin 64 page rule book. The complexity of this game is a six. 64 page rule book. So the rules start on, you know, kind of describes the rulers and the stuff and that and the units and the cards and resources and sequence of play. So then we start at page 14 with the rules and victories on page 60. So this is mostly rules and it is, um, it's on the good GMT uh, map finish stock. So it'll be easy to read, but it is very, appears to be very rules dense. I mean, you know, there's some white space, but not a lot of graphics once you get out of the cards and resources stuff. In the, in the uh, components description. There's a few spotty graphics here and there, but for the most part, this is rules. You are gonna learn this game. But apparently the effort, the reward is worth the effort. All right, so that's 64 page rule book. Then we go into our scenario rule book, which is also, let's see, 56 pages. Designed by Carlos Diaz Narvez. Narvez on the front, it just says Carlos Diaz, but in the in the uh, credits, it's got his last name as well. So uh, this has the scenarios. It goes from page three to about page ten. The two scenarios: the 1470 scenario is seven turns. The 1490 scenario is four turns. And then straight on page 10 is an example of play. And then this is like a lot of uh, playbooks by GMT. It says designer's notes, the game as history, notable battle, and then the characters, and then the credits. So this has got a lot more, um, you know, the scenarios are going to tell you how to set up and where to put the markers, your starting markers, things like that. And then, you know, the history is going to be a lot more colorful, um, you know, light reading to learn more about the game and the different characters we've got here. The Popes, the Independents, the Catalonians, Catherine of Aragon, Christopher Columbus. Very cool. Yeah, more beautiful, beautiful artwork there. All right, so then we've got Diplomatic Influence Table. Right here. Very nice style they've done instead of just being white. I mean, it's got some, you know, kind of like a marbled background. Look old. And the font is very, very cool, very evoking the period. Um, so this is a diplomatic influence table. It's obviously gonna be a side chart, I would guess, for the board, it's single-sided. Um, so this is the French player aid, the Muslim player aid, these are the different factions. The Portuguese player aid, and the Spanish player aid. And these are all on GMP's quality coated cardstock. And then we have the Royal Weddings Table. Diplomatic status display. This is single sided, so this is probably gonna be a sideboard as well. And then we've got, I would assume, four copies here of the tables. 
or single side, or excuse me, single single page, double sided. Table sheet one, table sheet two. There's one copy there for each player. And then we've got our faction mats. Here's the French, the Muslim. Portugal, Spain. Then we've got our counters and markers. That looks like six sheets of counters and markers. So here we go. These the ones that are square are not pre-rounded. So you might need an Oregon Laminations 2.5 millimeter deluxe quarter rounder, the correct tool for the job. The round markers are clearly rounded. Uh, I don't know what to do about hexagonal markers, control markers. But here's an area counter sheet one, counter sheet two. Counter sheet three. Counter sheet four. Counter sheet five. So these are the ones that are gonna go on the board. And it looks like this sheet of counters is some very, 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 very tiny half inch, half inch counters, trackers, Papacy Florence, Venice, Navarre, Naples, Genoa, Genoa, excuse me. Plus one card, plus one victory point headline events, lots of different markers and things. Got some piracy markers there. At war. Wow. Uh, here's the reverse side of that. And then we've got our mounted board. It's a six panel board. No, nope, eight panel board. Take a look at that in a minute. Then we've got GMT's bag o bags. Card decks. Take a look at those here. So there are two packages of cards, but they're basically one deck of 131 cards that you'll use in the game. So we'll just take a quick look at a few of them. Uh, so it's obviously a card-driven game. So, oh, combat, surprise attack, roll your dice in this field battle. Or result first, apply all losses before computing the number of dice that your opponent can roll. Can be played of attacking or defending. Armagnac Rebels, the kind of Armagnac Rebels against his king with support. Rebels, excuse me. Rebels, not rebels. Uh, rebels against his king with the support of Aragon. Place unrest markers on Auk and two adjacent spaces, even if units are present, and drop the French loyalty with Armagnac by three levels. Drop the French loyalty with two other noble houses by one. France may declare war on the Spanish player for no cost at this time if desired. Remove if played as an event. So obviously they have, like all card-driven games, they have a point value you can do other things with or you can use the event. So you got 131 cards. And then we've got dice. We've got three of each color. We've got yellow, purple, green, and blue for each faction. I'm not gonna roll these. There's too many of them. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the game board here for Tanto Manta. Got some tracks here at the top. It's a very bright, colorful board. It sits sideways. So it's got the, uh, um, uh, it's 34 by 22. Very nice artwork, uh, design style, I should say. So again, this is a four player game. Portuguese coast, uh, the victory point track, goes through 48, Cadiz, Spain, France, Italy, North Africa. And here's Gibraltar. Give you an idea for the area you're playing in. So, anyway, gives you a, a high level view of the map. Yeah, can't really fit it all in here. Into one shot. All right, so let's do a quick rebox and look at everything you get in the game. 
All right, so if you pick up a copy of Tanto Manta, The Rise of Ferdinand and Isabella, 1470 to 1516, you are going to get those two packs of cards that give you 131 event cards and action cards. You're gonna get uh, 12 dice, three for each faction. You're gonna get a bag of bags. You're gonna get six sheets of counters and markers. You're going to get that beautiful board that we just took a look at, the game board we just took a look at. You're going to get the faction mats, one for each of the four factions. You're going to get four copies of the table sheet one and table sheet two. You're going to get the Royal Weddings side chart. You're going to get the play raid for each of the four factions. And you're going to get the diplomatic influence table side chart. The 56 page, yeah, scenario and historical reference book, and the 64 page rule book. And that's everything in Tentomanta from GMT Games, designed by Carlos Diaz. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh!